something like that. Hello guys. And this is a drink review of a drink called, well, okay, I actually thought it said rescued as in RE, but now I see that it said RS. Oh god, for some reason it doesn't focus. Well, anyways, rescued uh, shot, ingefära citron, which is ginger and lemon. And I mean, this is a drink because yesterday I was um, in doctor's office and giving some testing, saliva tests. Uh, because I'm in a study uh, for ME. And they have these type of things in that area. I mean, that is like a super rich area. And this little thing costs 25 kroners. Or, I don't know if one cost 25, it was two for 50. So, it became 25 each. Who knows how much one of these costs normally. Um, and it doesn't say how much it is. Um, which is why this is half full. And I put into an actual shot glass. Because it only says in the back per 100 grams. Uh, the nutritional facts per 100 milliliters. Sorry. Um, but as a port, I was like, oh, alright. This right here is 28 grams. And it's like half the bottle. Maybe a little bit more than half. So I would say the whole bottle is 50 grams. And yeah, let's do that shot. Whew. It isn't that bad. Um, it's not as bad as the other one I did. Uh, which was like chili. And ginger uh, because one thing that I found weird on the back of this I'll be reading some comments also is that it says it contains 30% apple 30% lemon and 40% uh, ginger if you put all of those together you get 100% but then it also contains a good kmea um, which I have no idea what that's in English. Black pepper, and that's it. Good Camilla, it's... Oh, God. It's a orange spice. Um, yeah, it's not turmeric. Turmeric is not orange, it's yellow, but... An orange spice, good Camilla. Um, so... It must be like less than 1% of gurkmea soft pepper, I'm, I'm assuming. Or maybe like less than 0.1% probably. Um, but the thing that I found weird was that the ginger wasn't first. Because these nutritional things, you're supposed to put the biggest ingredients first. And then the first thing you read on one of these labels is what... The biggest ingredients, and then it falters down. But this one didn't. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, what was I thinking? Uh, comments. Um, Duplin? Uh, Duplin, uh, Duplin? I think your hair looks way better like this. Thank you. Um, well, I've, I'll let the, my hair just grow this entire year and see how long it ends at the end of the year. Even though I have cut it, I think, twice. I know once. And for some reason, I feel like it is twice. Uh, but it could be just one time. I don't know. One time, 100%. Two times, 40% sure. Uh, let's see. And that was on Drink Review, Fun, Light, Mandarin, Madness. The other comment was by Derek Lucas. YouTube deleted my comments for some reason. Anyways, thanks for answering my question. Yes, I deleted it because I felt bad when I realized your difficulties. Hope you get better, my man. Well, I hope I get better as well, but... Didn't you just leave one comment? or No, two comments and... 
You said YouTube deleted them, but then you say you deleted them? Hmm. But anyways, thank you for the good wishes, I guess, or the good hope. I don't know. Um, Duplina, good luck selling that. And that was on my post about Humble Bundle. Um, Gitsien, keto is a great diet. Help me with my weight. If you don't mind me asking, are you really handicapped and what is it? Oh, I already answered that in the comments. Um, let's see. Corey Hale, nice haircut. And I get some comments. Oh god, I'm gonna use some pre-made YouTube comments. Let's take that one. It's thanks and a stupid emoji. Um... And then another comment by Corey Hale on the drink review, Fun Light Madness. I drank these when I was in Norway. Yeah, I think Fun Light is a Norwegian company, at least the ones behind that, I think. So, um, or maybe it's probably is like a, a multinational Nordic company, would be my guess. Uh, most companies often, when they are, you know, Norwegian, Swedish, fin Finnish, and Denmark, a Danish. They're, they're always like, they tend to just be like multinational of those two because just being in like a one country company, like, I don't think there is enough population and in the Nordic countries to really like become successful in, some, in, in things like that. Uh, let's see, Quintix Lennox. Dawn of War 2 was better. And that was on Let's Play. 40,000 Dawn of War 3 Part 5. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, Dawn of War 2 was a lot better. Um, I mean, if I don't remember when I finished recording uh, those parts. Um, I think it was... I think I recorded the last part with those Part 6. On the 8th or 9th of February. And the last part is coming out on when have, when do I have it scheduled? Uh, the 27th of February. Oh god, getting hiccups. I despised. Dawn of War 3. I gave it a shot. Uh, part 6 is the last one. I did not finish the game. Uh, but as I was playing part 6 and I wasn't that level, I was like, I can't play anymore. I mean, I just cannot force myself to put any more like attention to this shitty game. I hate it. I really, really despise Dawn of War 3's gameplay. Uh, I'm not like super like, oh god, about the art style. I don't like the art style. Um, but uh, it's not really like super like horrific to me. I mean, seeing those Terminators like Gibber Angle jumping like that and Gorgoth. Like the I think Gor the Gorgoth spinning one is funny. Uh, but overall, how Gorgoths look, I don't like. But... The biggest problem I think Dawn of War 3 has is the gameplay. Uh, like, you don't need, like, good or, I mean, I'm pretty sure the graphics are good, but you don't necessarily need, like, a good art style. Um, but if the gameplay is so bad as it is in Dawn of War 3, you really need other things to, like, compensate for the gameplay. And they did not. Uh, yeah, and that was all the comments, actually. Yeah, it wasn't that many comments. Um, oh, fuck, there was something I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I have a video that I recorded days ago. It was, uh, I think, uh, yeah, 22nd of February, I think is one. Well, it says right here, date. 22nd of February. But the date thing is a bit weird sometimes, because if you schedule something... 
it will say like the schedule date and not when you uploaded it or when you publish something then you know it changes at that date it doesn't show like the original upload date i think that would be something good that youtube could do you could do like the date like they have the date you uploaded or published your video like it would be good if they had a different tab called like upload date as well um but they don't um let's see yeah in that video i was talking it, it's it's it hasn't come out yet i like um at the moment it's just for members but it's because there isn't like a slot for it um uh, but it will probably come out by the end of this month um but one thing I have been feeling, uh, like, uh, in the last, like, 10 to 14 days is that eating is like a chore. Uh, my appetite is pretty, like, gone. Um, and I think that's why uh, my blood sugar and my ketones were the way they were. Uh, because I wasn't eating at all. I mean, like I said in that video, I probably ate like a thousand to one thousand three hundred calories a day, and I probably got in like one or two carbs a day. Um, yeah, and I just and I still have it uh, today. Like I talked about about that with my doctor yesterday. And I feel he said I could have a little bit to do with you know the keto, and the fact that patients with ME tends to have their tarman. What is tarm? I don't know what tarm is in English. Uh, but that that one is like it doesn't get enough energy, and you, it needs energy to you know. I start like the appetite for food and like it was things that talk like that but he said like I probably shouldn't just stop like uh, stop um, the keto diet or whatever I should just focus trying to get up those carbs uh, like like force eat a little bit like that and so I get the amount of calories and blah 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 that I need and if, if I still have this like loss of appetite, whatever, in like a month, because it's still very early, like it, it, it is not gonna like de kill me. Uh, but if I still have it after a month and things are not getting better, then I should start like tapering off uh, from the keto diet. Uh, maybe just go like low carb maybe instead of trying to get, be around 20 even though I failed at 20 I'd like I've just been like under five uh, net carbs for you Americans um, if it comes up to like a month and things aren't getting better I should like start introducing a, like a little bit more carbs every day um, and then even if I mean when my carbs has started to go up and it still isn't better after another month um, or I should can't start contacting them during that time then they might have to give like a nutrients through a drop or something like that just to get that started uh, hopefully it, it won't have to go to that um, I think a lot of what I'm feeling right now is probably m my own doing because I haven't just eaten um, so it's probably it's, I am pretty sure it is my own doing um, I don't think it, it I don't know but I I mean this is the first time I feel this way, even though I've been on keto and all that many times before it seems. I mean, I've been on and off, on and off on keto diet since 2018. 
had like a few months on keto, uh, some three months or not, a few months, blah, 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 you know, jump back and forth. Um, yeah, and I mean, I will say that I do feel like more mentally better uh, when I am on keto, when I have these ketones in my blood. Um, I do feel a little more mentally um, like able and I do tend to get like a one or two extra hours during the day where I'm like awake um, which to me means <laughs> a lot um, yeah and I can stay like awake for longer longer periods of time like yeah. Um, uh, but I'll I'll wait and see how things goes. Um, but yeah, well, that was that. And so that's also one reason why I bought these because so this right here is around fifty milliliters. Uh, so it would contain six grams of carbs. So I, I, I ate breakfast before I recorded this video, which was two eggs, a little bit of hericon batch, and some cheese. I might do a cooking on that because I don't do it. I do it in the oven. Uh, it's like super easy to do, and it's actually pretty good. So expect that next cooking video. I'll probably record it tomorrow in the morning. Because that's that's the breakfast I do. Uh, you could you could obviously replace the cheese with uh, because that's what I do. Like the the egg and the oven is like something for all the breakfasts I've done. Um, but then the reason why I'm using cheese right now instead of meat because well we have cheese and yeah I like how. It, ends up it's like a different flavor different texture uh, but you could use bacon sausages whatever uh, but using the cheese and all that it really like makes it much faster because if you use like a meat and all that you first have to put the meat in the oven until it is fully cooked and then you take it out then you add the eggs the egg mix and whatever you want and then put that in So, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.